my dear brothers and sisters that comes from Cameroon. I don't know about other countries, but I am leaving this message with a heavy heart. I am leaving this message because of that which happened to me because I am a, and I'm, I'm an eyewitness unto it. I don't know if it has happened to others, but I am leaving this message to give a warning to other Cameroonians when you are traveling back to Cameroon. We in the diaspora, the government has decided to maltreat us. The government has decided to squeeze money out of us. They have gone are so far as that they are dealing with people's health. I am really, really ashamed of that country, Cameroon. I am ashamed in the sense that on your health that the government should take care of, on your health, that the, the health world, the health situation to uh, uh, world health will take care of, but yet they don't take care. They don't take care, my dear sisters, my dear brothers. You that you are planning to go to Cameroon, I don't know which place of it, but now in Yaoundé, as I'm talking to you people and those that will be listening to this message, the government they have decided a particular place that you should go and do your their COVID tests. They have taken this COVID now to become their business zones. They have taken this COVID now to snatch money from people's pockets. I, for one, I traveled to Cameroon with a negative corona test. I, for one, I had been positive before in my country. And I, for one, I have I had taken the two injections that they are giving. So, this message... I was so shocked. You will go to the app. You will go to that their place. They, they, they call it Central. They what what in sport, uh, sport in a Yaoundé. I don't know how they even call it. They will tell you that this test is for free. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, it is not for free. They will tell you to follow them to the lab. That way you want their test to come out on time. You will go to the lab. And that lab that you are going, they are demanding 100,000 francs from you, 100,000 CFA, before you can get a negative result. If you don't give that money, then you will have a positive result. What a shameful country. What a corrupted country. What a country that has sold their souls. What a country that has decided to really ruin people's lives. What a shame. I am so shameful to introduce myself to somebody that I am a Cameroonian because of the things that are happening back there. I went home to bury my mom only for me to come back. I did my test, my COVID test. On the day they said that test will be coming out only on, on, a, on, a, on a, a Saturday, mm -hmm. 7 o'clock. And I needed to travel that same Saturday from 11 they quote my dear brothers and my sisters that they will give to you. You will be keep putting that quote. What will be coming up is that pending, pending, which means you have not yet paid that money. I didn't know until I missed the plane. I went to the airport, not because I don't have my documents all right, not because I am sick, not because of anything. I had no sickness. I had no symptoms of anything going that I'm going to take off only for them to open that same code that I've been struggling to open the code and the code was not opening and then immediately the code opened and they wrote in it presence the what 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 I don't know so I asked them what is presence they made me to understand that there is something that you cannot travel madam if really I was a COVID patient they should have taken me to their COVID centers if even I was a COVID patient, they shouldn't have allowed me to march into the airports to even to talk to the managers of the airline. They allowed me and they made me to understand that if I do it the next day or the next two days, I should come back and fly. What a country are we living in? What a country, what has Cameroon become of? Cameroon, I want to tell you the government of that country, stop your corruptions. It is enough. You have stolen from people until you are stolen from people's health. Take it for instance that somebody is having a high blood pressure. Somebody is sick with chronic, another chronic disease that nobody knows of. And you make this person to understand that the person is COVID uh, 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 positive. What do you want from that person? Why can't you, you people know about human rights? Why are you people abusing human rights? 
You, you people made me to miss my plane that same day. The next day, I went now to do this test in the central hospital in Yaoundé. And if I first of all did a quick test, and this test was negative. I told the doctor, and they had to do the PCR test, which is what is demanded at the airport to travel with. And this test came out negative. What is it that you people want from us? Stop your corruptions. It is enough. Stop killing people indirectly. Stop frustrating people when they come out to their own mother's, count, mother's land. Stop for frustrating them. It is enough. We want to say it is enough. I am leaving this video, this message to tell the world, to tell people, to tell World Health Organization that what Cameroon is doing, they are using COVID to enrich themselves. They are using COVID to take snatch money from people's pockets. They are using COVID to make people to ex have extra expenditures. I had to spend four, 500 euros altogether to do the COVID test and to buy a new ticket to my country that I belong, to my country that I am coming in. What is it, Cameroon? What is it? Stop your corruptions. Stop dealing with people. Stop it. I say stop it. It is enough. Stop it. This message, let this message go vital. You people should share this message. Share this message. Let the world know that Cameroon is not a, re a red zone country because of COVID. They are registering people um, positive. Meanwhile, they are negatives. They are, when you go to that, they are lab and you pay that 100,000 francs. They will, even if you are having positive, you will get a negative result and you will use that positive and enter into the plane. What is it? And that, those people with that same, whether they will be having positive, real positive, I mean, they will go into the plane and distribute this sickness to other people. What do you want? Why can't you stop this, your corruptions? You people are praying that COVID should not come to an end because you have taken it as your business zones. But as you are eating it, this is how you'll be vomiting it one by one. So take your time and take your hands off from people's lives. Take your hands off. Don't frustrate people when they are coming into their own motherland. Frustration, you don't frustrate people's life. Cameroon, it is enough. Corrupted country.